hello guys welcome to momo big nursery today we are making this beautiful ruffle band so stay tuned and watch this tutorial you're watching momo big swings for further tutorials please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox hello guys welcome to more beginner swing today we are making ruffle pants or here i am explaining you the basic pattern because sometimes you don't uh, get the pattern of mine so i'm just explaining it a little bit so you can draw it by yourself okay today we are making 20 inch ruffle pants which is going to be a very different one so let me start with the uh, basic necker first basic short first okay so we are we have taken 11 inch total of length where one inch is going to be elastic length okay okay now we are going to start with one inch uh, uh, below one inch and uh, after one inch we have taken 10 inch more so in total we have taken 11 so our basic pattern is of 10 inch and the west west band area is of 1 inch now the width of the short is going to be a 8 inch in total and our waistband area is going to be 7.5 inch i have made the crotch area of 5 inch below the 7 0.5 inch you can see that I am measuring the distance from below the 1 inch which is the elastic waistband and after that I have made the crotch area by making 1 inch away from the right hand side because we need to make a crotch area and then we draw a little bit curvy side which becomes our hip line later on and the bottom of the short note that that i have make uh, saying at the bottom of the short because we are going to have the ruffles below it it is of total seven inch and this is the total short explanation and now the ruffle part we are going to have the length of 10 inch and the width of 14 inch of the ruffle so this is the total explanation of our pattern now we are going to cut it on the our fabric and then we are going to start with our pants now we are cutting our pattern on our fabric you can see that i have taken a pink a very nice pink cotton fabric and now i'm going to lay down my pattern and going to start it here we are going to you can see that i am telling you the three inch measurement over here just mark over here as well just mark it we are going i am going to tell you later on that what why i should mark it over here so let me cut it make a notch on the three inch point which i have just marked over here now the ruffle part now as you can see i have mapped my pattern over here and now i'm going to stitch it i'm going to cut it sorry i'm going to cut it uh, let me complete it and then we are going to start with our stitching so now we are starting with our sewing process over here you can see that this is my short and this is my ruffle i have made the notches as uh, as i already told you in the cutting section i have made the notches uh, notch at the three inch away from the short at the bottom of the short you can see that and i have made a one notch at the middle part of the ruffle you can see that and then i have made the notch on the now we are going to make this notch and basically the both side knots uh, notches is going to attach with each other 
but right now I am explaining you with the help of pen so you are going to have a clear explanation over here so the side notch is going to attach with the side notch now the other notches the ruffle notch is going to attach over the short notch which is three You can see that we have three pins over here the two notches which is at the double fold of the ruffle and three inch away from the shot and the side notch is going to attach with you now I am giving a box pleat again I'm going to explain you with the second side I am just folding the my remaining part at the both sides now you can see over here as well I have just fold apart like that and from here I have just I have just matched the sides I have just matched the sides and give the on fold over here as well so basically we need at both notches we need a 2 to fold over here and this is just it if you know how to give a pleat if you don't know how to give a pleat this is just a simple pleat ruffle so let me, I hope you are uh, have a clean, clean explanation over here. Now I'm just going to have a single seam over here. So this is it guys you can see that this is a very clean and clear ruffle band this is a basically a box bleed ruffle band i have given a pleated uh, look alike over here so now i'm going to make the other one piece for you and then we are going to stitch them Now you can see that I have done with my other pair of uh, ruffle pan and now we are going to stitch our crotch area hip line to hip line like that it is a simple procedure of uh, lagging or pajama sewing so you can see that I am just going to do it in a super fast way. Now we are done with our side seams or crotch line seams. Now we need our elastic waistband which is equivalent to half of the width of our total waistband. This is a, just a classic rule of my sewing technique that just take a half of the total width.
now you can see that I am done with my elastic waistband now what is what the thing is left what the thing is left is uh, our bottom fold you, if you want to uh, attach some lace you can do that as well and uh, we also left our inner seam so I am going to, to do our bottom fold and then I am going to do inner seam so let me do it in a super fast way firstly I am doing inner seam then I am going to do So this is the final piece of our dress. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel. And this is our pure ruffle band with the box pleats. I have given you. And this is the final look of this dress. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video as well. See you soon.